welcome back to Steffi Talks. Today's video is going to be one of my mini reviews demo videos. I've got five of these um, videos coming up all after each other of some new Max Factor products and today we're going to be starting off with this product right here. If I turn it around quickly, this is the Miracle Prep Primer, the colour correcting primer. This is the green one which means that it corrects any redness that you have on your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin like me, that um, basically you get redness whenever you touch your skin, especially when you're doing moisturiser. <laughs> I don't know what it is but basically um, the, um if i look on i'm just on my little um trusty you know internet interwebs um i'm on stupid drug funny enough and this primer primes neutralizes redness and cool skin with an antioxidant vitamin blend and hyaluronic acid to leave skin feeling moisturized the features in the feature section it says that it corrects an even skin tone and neutralizes redness and the benefits are the cools and visible visibly calms skin now hmm uh, so the hyaluronic acid is in a lot of the new products by Max Factor. It's in the Radiant, um, the Radiant Lift Foundation. Um, it's in the updated formula of the Miracle Touch Foundation. So we're seeing a lot of hyaluronic acid, which means that it gives you plump to the skin. It hydrates your skin. So we're seeing a lot of these properties um, and being very skin loving to um, Max Factor's new products. Now with this, as you will um, see in my demo that will be coming up after I, st I, I do my little chit chat. Uh, basically, this um, will un um, color correct your redness. Now, I have very um, sensitive um, skin. Um, I do have oily um, combination skin, and especially whenever I do my moisturizer in the morning, in the morning, um, I tend to get lots of redness after I've kind of touched my skin, and it's just normal. I can I. Kind of, I would say back in the day I used to have lots of rosacea which has calmed down um, due to me being a bit more confident I guess um, but yeah um, I did use this I did use a little bit and I used my um, sponge um, and I don't know I did see it's kind of calmed it down obviously my skin tends to calm the redness but um, if you do have a lot of redness I would say don't use a one pump use maybe two pumps just to add a bit more um, green now the green counteracts the red which then gives you more of a kind of gray kind of film to your skin Which I've actually seen once we had training as well um, If you have redness this will kind of give you more of a gray kind of color So when it comes to put your foundation on top of it That will kind of just be easier for you to not see any redness coming out of your foundation color if that makes sense So it is a really good product now if you're gonna ask me do I use this in a normal primer? No, you don't need to because hey you don't need to do that if it's a primer to primer so you can use your moisturizer and then go in with your primer and then start your rest of your foundation your makeup foundation concealer whatever you use um this does not have any spf no it does not yep no spf in this one so you're good to go so if your moisturizer has spf um use that and then go in with this because no spf in this one so let's get into the demo and yeah hope you like it okay guys so the first thing i did was apply some moisturizer now the moisturizer i'm using is the clinian's um uh, face cream with argan oil and it claims to be nourishing with and oil free non-oily non oily so that's what i used just to moisturize my face before we get into the primer so this is the primer so it says miracle prep primer um, color correcting and cooling and it's in a green packaging like this you get 30 mils of product I'm hoping this is gonna work yep and it is green um, just to read something that's on here it's an antioxidant vitamin blend and it's a breathable formula so this is the first time I'm using it it is such a clean pump so let me just show you that it's brand new brand new not even used I'm just going to pump some out on the back of my hand and it's green it is green texture wise it's quite thick 
So it is a thick formula and it's very green. So a little bit I think will go a long way. I wouldn't say you need you'd need so much. Now after I do my um moisturizer I tend to get redness, I tend to get very red. So even with this I'm not going to put a lot on my face because I don't really want to look like a dragon. <laughs> Literally. So this should colour correct any redness that I would have on my skin and I'm just going to grab my Hair Little Beauty Beauty Sponge which is this. I've just dampened it just to make it slightly easy for me to blend. So this should help any redness that I have on my skin. So this is my skin with a layer of the primer. Now, let me just get a mirror and see the difference myself close up. Now, what I can say this does is if you have redness, this is going to counteract the redness and make it more of a green, a uh, greyish kind of tone. So when it comes for you to put on your foundation, you'll have less redness and it won't peek through. Now, I do have a couple of um, rosacea patches here and here which I tend to kind of suffer from and sometimes even on my forehead so I think it has helped um, but obviously we can talk about it um, more or less more as we put on more makeup so I'll get back to you and check back in with you after I have makeup done demo is done i hope you liked the demo of me going a little bit like um hulk i would say a little bit green but not as green as i thought i didn't want to go so green because this is a really intense green um primer guys like if you saw that on my hand that was intensity like intense green so if you want to go oompa loompa i would say oompa loompa because i think oompa loompa is orange but if you want to go hulk green <laughs> you can use this <laughs> okay guys um overall thoughts i like this um, primer. Um, I do need to try a bit more of this and just kind of use it a bit more often and especially when I have a lot of redness. I think this is really good for anyone with rosacea as I mentioned in the beginning. Um, do try this if you if you suffer from any sensitive skin, um, a lot of redness and maybe you maybe you feel that you have um, the redness coming through, coming out from your foundation, especially when you're using foundation. You just maybe it's a bit more and with lighter coverage and like that. Do try a color correcting primer that will help you 100%. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. I'll see you guys in the next Max Factor review, which is coming up very shortly. Bye guys. <laughs>